The way we um, would have worked up until now would be that we would be in a room and we would then literally trash out the ideas and play them live and see which parts worked, which parts didn't. And in a way, we got very used to that because it was a, it was a quicker way of writing it because what would happen is that if you, if you come up with a line that the other guys don't like, you just kind of get a look and you realise, OK, well, they're not feeling that, I'll change this. Is that not where you should have opened up? Yeah. Just getting a feel for it. You know what? Having done that, wouldn't it be interesting if you didn't do it right on the thing? Yeah. This time around, because we all had to do our own parts individually, you, you didn't know whether they'd like them or not. So that was a much different way of working. But in a way, I think it was nicer because you got to um, experiment a lot more, where when you're playing in a room, you have to make a decision very quickly. You know, am I going to play this? Am I going to play that? And you have to jump on it and, and go with it. Because if the other guys are going at a million miles an hour, you've got to keep up with them. But this time around, we, we could all travel at different speeds, I suppose, and we had a lot more time to, to digest what we were writing and uh, to try them and uh, discard them or change them. You know, we're, we're putting songs in that we've never, ever played live. We're going to have to learn how to play these songs. And that's going to be a very interesting challenge because we've never done that before. There'll be a strange situation where you're actually sitting down and listening to a recording that you've done and, and having to learn it for the first time. Columbia Mills, the sound that we have, would, you know, it's dark, edgy. And uh, that type of music, it, for me, well, what we do has to feel like that or else I can't really um, enjoy it. So I have to feel that when I'm playing the, the songs and when we're writing them, I have to, you know, get that sense that the song is edgy. So yeah, it gives us the But we got some really, really nice, tasty atmospherics and um, it's important that, that we we have that kind of a feel to the to the to the music. But I'm very much looking forward to learning these songs and you know performing them in front of a live audience. It'll be be something. Because of the, the, the approach we've taken with writing the songs, which was determined by the, the lockdown, unusually for us, a lot of the songs don't have any melody at the moment. So, you know, Fierker's going to have to put his melody and the lyrics down on top of a fully formed song. Which, and we've never really done that. We've never really taken that approach. So that'll be interesting to see, yeah, I suppose, the, the icing on the cake when, when, when we, when we uh, finally finish the writing process. And that's exciting as well because we don't know how they're going to turn out. And obviously when you put a, a lyric down or you put a melody down, it, it completely changes the song. And um, I'm excited to hear what, what will become of them. Mm -hmm.